I don't want to freak you out, but I think that I may be the voice of my generation. Or at least a voice of a generation. You think because you're, what, 11 pounds overweight, you know struggle? I am 13 pounds overweight, and it has been awful for me my whole life! Holy fucking shit! Oh, my God. Okay, I knew it was her. Because that girl wears floral capris, like her hymen's still intact, but yeah. she was such a slut in oh, such a she, big way. In a huge way. I never get used to those stairs. I just had this story that I wanted to write, and suddenly it just seemed so trivial. The one about you not buying the Thin Mints from the Girl Scouts? It's not trivial. It's a triumph of will. Yeah, but then I bought them. That's the end. I bought them. Please, just come get me. I'm sorry, I can't. I wish I could help. Why don't you just call an Uber? No, I got kicked off the app for having too low a rating. You know that. I'm not fine, Ray. I'm not fine at all. I can't even pretend. This whole thing feels like a puzzle with no possible solution, like a Rubik's Cube. Hey, are you okay? I'm not a hooker. No one said you were. Sorry for trying to help. God fucking damn it. Men are disgusting. Travi. Oh, yeah, I know him. Do you like him? Yeah, a lot. He's amazing. Yeah, he's not for me. He's seven. Yeah, he's like a seven-year-old asshole. He's super pompous. I just think we should get out of here. We should go. You should not go, okay? If anyone should go, she should go. You should not go. I don't want to cause an issue, so I think I'm just going to go. Don't go. And you don't go. Nobody go. Just go there. You want me to cross the tracks? Yeah, walk across the tracks. It's not going to kill you. And step on the third rail, potentially. We're not in New York City. There is no third rail, Hannah. It definitely was not easy, and I definitely feel like I'm more of like a dumpling than a woman at this point in my life. Like a welcome mat or a punching bag. I mean, it's horrible. Tally Schifrin, she was in all my writing classes. I used to complain about what an awful writer and human she was. I mean, we're basically nemeses. Oh my God. This is so sad. Her boyfriend killed himself on purpose by crashing a vintage car while on Percocets. I know, she's so lucky. Are you still writing? I am still writing, yeah, actually. Do you have an agent? I don't have an agent. No, I mean, I have a boyfriend. Um, he lives in Prospect Heights. He's alive and well there, so. It is my greatest dream to have sex with myself, but also my biggest nightmare. I read a statistic that said Syracuse has the highest incidence of date rape of any university. Wow. Which weirdly went way down the year that you graduated. That was just a joke because I was saying that there was no more date rape because they figured out who it was, who was doing it, and it was you. Maybe I actually am not scared of AIDS. Maybe I thought I was scared of AIDS, and what I really am is wanting AIDS. Well, Sandy and I broke up, so that's over. Oh, oh God, so that sucks. What happened? Your rights happened, and your rights happened, because I can't be with someone who's not an ally to gays and women. Thank you. Thanks. Whose side are you on? She's not on anyone's side. She's the Dr. Phil. Well, it's easy to say when she's on your side. I'm not on anyone's <laughs> side. I'm not on anyone's side. I'm on your side. If I had to pick a side, it would be your side. This is something I'm doing for us. Why are you whispering? She can hear you. I can hear you. I'm sitting right here. And unless you want to see the snack room first. You just said snack room? And everything blurred. At the very least, I would hope that you would know I would never want you to show your vagina to anyone but me. Oh, so now I'm not supposed to show my vagina to anyone but you, Fran? It's about to be summer. And by the way, I'm really sorry I showed you my pussy. I was in a bad relationship and I was blasting a lot of energy in the wrong direction. She tried to cook meth in South Hall, and then all the hazmat people came. We were all so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fairness to her, she was cooking the meth to sell. What she was smoking was crack. Well, that's good. I am writing a novel about the tyranny of political correctness at Oberlin, so of course I'm including the sophomore year incident where you called our RA a Jewish Hitler and then hiled him. Yeah, well, you know, that's sort of my story to tell. You do remember it. Hey. Hello, hello, hi. Great job, by the way. I thought the play was really good. I thought you really 
we're subtle with the rape thing. Wait, what did you just say? I get what's going what did your bitch just fucking say to me? You don't need to use language like that, okay? What did you just fucking say to me? I didn't, I didn't say anything. I don't care about what you call Mitzvah. I did not call you crazy. The I did not call you crazy. What did you fucking say? No. It didn't touch me, but it could have. I'm sorry. Here, drink this. Drink this. It's okay. It's just I've seen a lot of things. I'm 25 years old and I'm here to help you, all right? All right? You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, okay? I'm going to use the bathroom before you. Thank you. I am sorry for for everything. I don't really. You don't have to be sorry. It's okay. I mean, it's like I mean, it's not okay, but it's like I don't know who's really supposed to be sorry for what. So at this point, we should kind of just call it a like it's like <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, think about it. Like we were all just doing our best. So. Best was awful. Worst, best. <laughs>